If you found this video, it's probably because you're having trouble getting your two port um, VSOL ONUs to show the WAN configuration tab. And this particular model I have is a V802DAC. So in the video, I'm going to show you the issues I was having, how I got those resolved, and we'll actually get internet working on this device. So this one was a unit I had purchased from Flytech, and it, apparently they've got an old firmware version. I had to reach out to VSOL for an updated version. The behavior I was seeing on this new one, for example, uh, this is the one I just had in my hand. When you go to the config tab, there's many missing tabs. On the same model, which is, this is a V122, when you go into one that is, has been updated, we can see there's the WAN tab and many other tabs. The Wi-Fi configuration tab was missing completely. Uh, from the old version as well. So the first thing we have to do is go to uh, the login for our ONU. And so I've got that on my other laptop here, the default IP address, you get you know DHCP 1.1. The username is going to be admin and this is where I also had some struggles finding the correct password. In the documentation that you find online, commonly it's STD O N U I zero I. However, for this model, I found it's actually the lowercase std capital O N U one zero one. So going back over here to our laptop where we're connected to the O N U, we can sign in, and that gives you access to the management tab. From there, you can go into device manage and upgrade image. From upgrade image, you'll want to choose the uh, correct firmware. These are not publicly available from VSOL. You have to email them and request them. And them being a Chinese company, they do great trying to get you the information you need. However, sometimes there is a little bit of a language issue. So the first time they gave me this file, the second time they gave me this one, on the firmware website that they sent, the date and time on the files were exactly the same. The version numbers were slightly different. So after trying the first one, it didn't work. It was the same behavior. I went with this one. So we're going to upgrade the firmware. And I like to keep a ping up to it just to make sure it comes back up. So at this point, the LAN light has actually went off. The system is rebooting. The pond light comes on, the 5G, 2.4G. And then finally the LAN 1 light. Now we're able to get back into the unit. You'll notice that after this firmware update, you've got the CAPTCHA code. And so the password is still going to be the default that we originally entered. and it's going to make us change the password. So we can apply those changes.
And so in the previous version, uh, there wasn't PPOE uptime and some of the WAN information did not appear the same as it does in here. So we're going to switch back to our OLT now. And this is the one, just to confirm, the serial number ends in 50780. So it's this one. Okay, and then we can, well, I'll switch back to my laptop to just prove to you that it does work now. So I'm going to configure this for my VLAN 2 interface for internet access. Uh, and we're able to connect on here because it's I'm on the same network with the wireless for the screen sharing so what I'm gonna do is just leave this to DHCP that way you can see it gets um, an IP off of the router okay so right now you can see it's getting the 1.1 which is the default router IP from the ONT alright so going back to our OLT I'm just gonna put TCON name is 1 and normally you'd set this up as a profile, but I've just set them up individually. That way I can do further testing with it. And then now that we have the WAN port, we're able to do a new bridge. I'm able to tell it to tag the VLAN and I put it on LAN one, submit and then submit again. And then once we've done that, If I release and renew the IP on the laptop, we now get our IP address as expected. So this was a very time consuming problem trying to figure out why the four port ONUs would work but the two ports would not so hopefully this helps you out